You don't arrive to the manger if you stay in the palace. This gospel for me has always an echo, a background music of the spirit of adventure, of following a path, of going on a journey, an unexpected journey. In my prayer, many times I have imagined I am one of the three kings. But we know in the gospel there are three. So sometimes those two kings are friends from home, sometimes members of our community. So there we go, the three kings on our way to look for King Jesus, baby Jesus. Sometimes, of course, depending on who do I invite, the journey is a little bit more contemplative. Sometimes we're a little bit more jokes and laughter and, and why not. But it's always a journey. For us legionaries, the spirit of adventure and journey has always been very present. We just celebrated two days ago, 82 years of foundation, a whole journey in itself. In a journey, there are always moments of joy, moments when one know is following the correct path, a security. But there are also moments when one needs to be humble and ask for directions like the kings. And even times when one needs to look to one of the road companions and say, I'm sorry, and continue the journey. A suggested question for us later on could be, at what point of this journey I am, spiritual journey, and what attitude do I need to foster? Maybe a little bit more joy, maybe as for sorry, as for forgiveness. At what point of the journey am I? Let us say it again. You don't arrive to the manger if you stay in the palace. So, of course, let's leave the palace. Let's leave the comforts behind and let's go to look for Jesus. Let's go to look for him and direct all of our lives to, to this constant search. The three kings are following a star. Throughout all the Old Testament, and you'll have to believe me when I tell you, that no first century Jew would have missed this. The star that goes all the way in the Old Testament goes all the way back to Abraham in the book of Genesis. Abraham having his problems, not understanding God's plan. For sure that doesn't happen to us, but it happened to Abraham. He's fighting. He's, he's having a struggle. And God says, let's take this chat outside. They go out of the tent. Two things. Look to the heavens and count the stars if you can. So shall you, your descendant be. Let this star for them, for the kings, but also for us, be a reminder of the constant message that we have heard so many times and yet once again we can listen to it. God is faithful. That's the message. God is faithful. The three kings following the star, continuing their journey, leaving the palace behind, arrived, fell down, and worshipped him. King David, in his splendor, sang in Psalm 24, Who is the king of glory? The king who is to come, the Lord strong and might. Who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. He's singing that, but he's also looking. He's looking for a king, he's, but he's the king and it's, it's, it's an inner struggle. And yet, or like David, we have found the king. We have found the king of glory. He is the Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. The attitude of the three kings that arrived to the manger, fell down and worshipped Jesus, is a reminder for us legionaries in a special way for everyone about putting Christ in the center of our lives. A spirituality that we found it in our spirituality, but also in so many other places in the church. And why is that such a beauty, so necessary? A spirituality needed for us, for the people outside, and for all the world who has forgotten to pose in their own heart the question that Father Sean made to us. He and Louis, 
full is him. Today, as we were united in prayer early in the morning at the funeral mass for Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, let us find in him an example for us, he who called himself a humble servant of the vineyard of the Lord. Let us find in him an example of someone who went through a long journey. Let us find in him a priest, a pope, a friend of ours, who never doubted of the faithfulness of God, who never stopped following his star. Let us pray to baby Jesus, to intercession of all the saints in heaven, so that at the end of our lives, we can also, like Joseph Ratzinger, Pope Emeritus, Benedict XVI, made the last words, which I'm sure the kings might have also said that, may the last words be, Signore, ti amo, Lord, I love you.